Hey guys, the Monster here at the Monster Garage, and we're going to do an install video. Uh, we've already done a few of the steps uh, to cut it down, but this is for the F3 power plate. And uh, here's your power plate here. It comes with USB, and you can pop this out real easy. It kind of locks in. Hang on. Ah, there we go. You can pop that out. And uh, we're, we're going to wire it directly to the battery. So if you have a battery tender with a uh, cigarette charger, uh, you'll never have to go anywhere else. You can just pop this out and uh, put your battery tender here and keep your battery charged. So it comes uh, with the wire that uh, basically you have your positive terminal here, your negative terminal here. These are already crimped on. Uh, we give you about a, a foot of a uh, three-eighths loom, and you want to just pop that over that to make it look right. And we're going to feed it right down through these bars here. So you're basically going to want to come right down through here and feed it down, and we'll come out on this side here. So I'll go ahead and run this down. And this is where we're going to be hooking up for power. Now, if you notice, i got tape on here. And the reason is, is when you tape them together, uh, it just feeds better. It's easier to, to get, uh, get it fished through here. This already has an inline fuse on it. Um, it's part of the kit. This, there's an auxiliary wire in here. If you want uh, keyed power, there's a little auxiliary line here that you can hook to. But that, then you won't be able to charge your bike off it. So it's not really the hot setup. So we already got the... The power plate in, uh, it comes with a, a spacer. Uh, this is your, your spacer that goes in your, your clamp. Uh, you're you're going to pull your old bolt out. You're going to reuse the washer on your old bolt. Put that on there. And then uh, just stick this in place. Go ahead and get it where you like it. You know, pull that loom up a little bit, dress it up. So, and then this is a eight millimeter. So just lock it down where you like it. And the one thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have a, when you route this, just going to want to make sure when you turn your bars, there's plenty of slack. Uh, it's going to follow the same lines as your other cable. The shield will will help protect it. Um, so now we got to get power from here to there. So we provide you with a wire here and there's several ways you can get to the battery. We're going to show you the way that we're going to get to it. Um, if you go right up through this little hole here, you can route the wire. I'm going to feed it up here. There we go. So there's the wire there. And then we're going to go ahead and run it through here. Now the reason you're seeing all these wires is uh, we have a stereo in this one. So those are all extra wires. You don't have to worry about it. So now we're going to take this wire that we just ran up here and we're going to run it back up through this nice little hole here. Okay. Okay, so now we got it up here. And there's cables down here already. So once you get everything where you like it, you're gonna to want to zip tie them to the cables, you know, make sure they don't hang down and get on any hot parts. Uh, now, real simple deal. We provide these lever locks. Um, you wanna flip up two of them and so one will be your positive and one will be your negative, obviously. So we'll go ahead and strip these. These are little quick strips. And do the same thing on these. All right, so we'll grab one of these. We'll call this the positive end. 
tighten that up a little bit. Put that in there. Flip the lever, make sure it's nice and tight. Take the other positive, same thing. Put it in there, seat it all the way. Make sure it tight. And this gives you an extra one if you want it. Let's say you're running LED lights that you want it hot all the time. Uh, this will give you power right there now. So that's the beauty of using this type of connection. So on the negative side, we'll do the same thing. And I always like to put like if, if uh, this one here I've got on the second loom. So I want to put this one on the first. It doesn't matter. It just kind of, you know, it's consistent that way and it looks good. And I don't know. That's the way I like to do it. In there. Okay, so this is basically wired up. Now we need to just go to the battery. And uh, we provide a butt connector, uh, inline fuse. It's got a ring on this end. I also have a ring. This will be on the negative side. And I'm not going to actually hook it up to the battery, but I'll show you what we're what we're going to do here. So here's here's the wire that we just uh, hooked up. So we'll go ahead and put the ring connector on the negative first. And you need some good crimpers. I always like to put it in before I crimp it. Get your wire buried in there. Nice good crimp. And because this fuse is so long, we can actually trim this back a little bit. And you could trim this down however you like it, but so I'll strip this one. Okay, this will go into the butt connector once again. I like to get it so I hold it. Nice and tight. Okay, got that in the butt connector. All right, so basically, this is your positive. It's going to go to this lug here. Your negative is going to go to this lug here. And uh, we're not going to hook it up right now because just for the sake of the video. But uh, that's all you got to do. That's all there is to wiring up this uh, power plate on your F3. So, advantage is if you have our uh, uh, X grip with our uh, top clamp. You can keep your phone charged when you're going down the road. Um, just, just a lot of different options that this allows you to do. So that's all there is to wiring it. You basically, wires go here, you make your connections in here, run it to your battery, that's it. So, hope that helped. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can email us. Just go to lamonstergarage.com and go to the contact us. And, uh, or call us on the phone, we'll be happy to walk you through it. Thanks.